Good morning, YouTube friends and family. I hope all of you are doing good. I wanted to get on here today. I think it's really important. And just visit a little bit. You want to uh, pull up a chair. Sit down. Let's have a cup of coffee. In my favorite coffee cup. Dear God, never again. It says, Dear God, never again. I will not talk. I will not talk. I will not talk. Sometimes I say the wrong things. I speak at the wrong time. The words hurt God or friends. I feel so ashamed. I am thankful that God forgives me when I ask him. God's word teaches me how to talk to others. I always hope, you know, that when I get on here that I say something of value, that I say things that are kind and that can be easily understood because I love all of you each and every one of you, very much. And I'm concerned. I'm genuinely concerned. Not worried. I'm just concerned. You ever get like that? I know you do. I know. And we have a lot to be concerned about. We certainly do. Some of it, though, is stuff we, we don't even want to think about. You agree? Oh, that's good coffee. Tonight is one of those times that we need to be paying real, real close attention, my friends. I'm going to ask you to stop and think about the anniversary tomorrow of 9-11. President is going to address us this evening regarding Syria. He's going to persuade or try to persuade. And as I've said before, oh, he's smooth. He's got that great big smile. And he knows how to talk. He knows how to talk. But he's not using God's way of talking. No. God does not deceive. God does not lie. And I'm not speaking for God but I'm speaking regarding. And I'm hoping that everybody will see through the deception and the smooth talk and the lies. In fact, I'm going to pray for that, that each and every person that watches or hears his speech sees through it. See, Al-Qaeda, supposedly, according to the lies, took down the World Trade Centers. The fly came for coffee. Yeah, they certainly did. In fact, guys, you know, they, Obama, went and uh, had a military action performed, grabbed up Bin Laden, killed him, killed him. Oh, bad, bad. If you saw the pictures, it was horrible. And then they threw him out over the ocean. Threw him out. Feeding the sharks. Yeah. 
And now, Al Qaeda is our friend. We support Al Qaeda. Oh, well, we don't. But somebody's supporting Al Qaeda. We need to be diligent, friends. We need to be paying attention. And don't use your own um, emotions. I mean, when you look at somebody that's talking, and they're a real smooth talker. And they can smile real pretty and rope you in. Don't look past that. Look past the superficial. Why the day before 9-11? Why? Because that's very emotional for all of us. Very emotional. I'm ashamed of him. I'm disgusted. I am. I can't. I can't say I'm not. Don't like him? Not one bit. And I'm tired. Guys, aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of the lies? And it's not just lies. It's compound lying. A lie on top of a lie on top of a lie. They tell a lie, they tell a lie to cover that lie, they tell a lie to cover that lie. I just want the truth, and I know you do too. I'm going to get off of here. I'm trying to make really short videos, and that's not easy for me because I have so much I want to share. So much I really want to say. I am asking each and every one of you to pay attention do not be duped. We're, we're in a bad situation. We don't have... Uh, the people running our government are not our allies. I listened to one of the senators in a speech yesterday talk about how in her state None of the people wanted war. None of them agreed with Obama. None of them wanted it. She made it very clear. And then she voted for it. Certainly did. So they're not our allies. They're not doing what the people want. Be careful what you believe. I love you all. We're in this together, and this stuff going on in D.C., it's not meant for us. It's not good. It certainly isn't. But we have bigger biscuits to bake. We do, and we'll get on that as soon as all of this, as soon as all of this is uh, dealt with. We know who has the answers. We certainly do. We do have an ally. We can count on him. I love you all. Great big hugs. No fear. But watch and listen very closely. Do not be duped. Don't fall for the lies. I pray that everybody's eyes and ears are open to truth only. And in that case, there would be a very short speech tonight. I can guarantee you that. Love you all. Catch you later.